Hey everyone, welcome to FindingWorkAtHomeJobs.com. Today I'm going to talk about a company named Lionbridge. Some of you may have heard of them. Uh, they are basically a company that offers crowdsourcing type of work and it's mostly non-phone type of work. So for those of you who really want to stay away from working from home on the phone, this might be a good alternative to you. Uh, for you. Um, so the kind of jobs that they offer, they have lots of different names, search engine evaluators, web content assessors, internet assessors, social media evaluators, so they have lots of different types of jobs. Um, let me go down to Lionbridge. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about pay, uh, so I went, I wanted to go and show you on Glassdoor.com. If you go to Glassdoor.com and you type in Lionbridge, you'll be able to kind of get an idea for what employees of Linebridge are saying that they make. Um, and as you can see, it's somewhere around the um, realm of thirteen eighty-eight to fifteen twenty-four an hour. So they do pay well, but um, the work is not necessarily all that easy. I mean, yeah, no, I'm just going to say it. it's just not that easy. <laughs> so, um, okay, so what is Linebridge or who are they? Um, they're a crowdsource company, and what that means is that large, big brands or companies um, will have perhaps something, uh, like will have a, a large amount of work that they'll hand over to Lionbridge, and Lionbridge will then break up the work into small, manageable chunks of work that they'll hand over to their employees to do. Um, they typically don't offer full-time work, though it's typically around maybe 20 hours a week, although if you can get more work, then even better, because obviously they pay they pay well. Um, so the application process for Lionbridge is what I've heard that's been a, is a little challenging. Um, so so buckle in because they want to know as much information about you as possible, including your education history, your job history. Um, is some of them, some of the jobs do require for you to have a college degree, and they will want proof of that. Um, some of them won't require a college degree. It depends on the type of job that you apply for and what they have available at the time. It may take you about an hour to fill out an op application, so you will want to make sure you set aside that time. Um, and like I said, there are all different types of jobs, so you want to make sure that you choose the right one. You might want to put a little bit of research into, you know, just type, just go to Google and type in the name of the job that they're offering so you can kind of get an idea of what um, you would be doing. Um, so here's the thing with me. I have applied like two times, and as soon as I put my name in, they reject me immediately. So I don't know if I applied once and I did really bad on their application because ever since then, they just automatically send me an email saying um, that, uh, I can't remember what they say, but something to the effect of, um, we we can't accept your application at this time for some, or you've applied in the past or something like that. So um, just make sure that when you apply that you set aside a good amount of time to do it right because it seems like they don't give second chances. At least that's what I'm understanding. Um, but for other people who who have applied, they have said that um, the, it's taken them quite a while to hear back, um, like maybe two, three months. So um, just know that, that it's not something that you're going to be able to go out and get tomorrow. Um, so what kinds of jobs will you be doing? There's lots of jobs you could be doing. Uh, surveys, um, you could just be um, working in social media, um, you could be um, uh, basically doing web search evaluating. Um, so there's lots of different jobs that you can be doing. Um, let me think what else I can tell you about it. Um, da, 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 da. Um, if you're going to look into their main job that they offer, which is that of a web content assessor, um, you're going to be basically assessing which p web pages are the most helpful to people when they type in keywords on Google. Um, so, for example, someone types in um, closest Mexican restaurant. Um, you, Google will give you a huge amount of, res of results, right? Well, you as a web content assessor will basically um, rate or, or help to decide which result will be near the top of the list. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so that's what you're going to be doing. And um, 
Now, the exam for the jobs such as web content assessors are really difficult. Um, I've heard that the one for web content assessing is about five hours long. So, mm, I don't know. You might want to think about it, but obviously if it pays, you know, almost $15 an hour, it might be worth it to you. So, um, now the job itself is, it's, it can be a little tedious. It requires a lot of concentration, obviously, because you're assessing which, um, you know, basically which businesses or which websites need to be of higher importance than others. Um, so it just takes a lot of concentration, so you'll want to think about that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's a pretty straightforward job once you've gotten through their application, the exam. Um, one really neat thing is that this job is open worldwide, so it's not just for those of us in the U.S. or the U.K. or Canada, it's for anyone. Um, so now, if you do live in a country different than the U.S., the U.K. or Canada, unfortunately, the pay is quite a bit less. It's about 5 or $6 an hour versus you know, 13 to 15, and, you know, I don't know why that is, maybe cost of living or whatever it is, but that's um, what the website has said, unfortunately, so keep that in mind. Anyways, uh, this is Lionbridge, and I'm going to put a link to their application page. Um, this is the first page of their application, and you continue on. If I remember right, it takes about an hour, so there's a good amount of pages here, and you're going to want to, again, just set aside a good amount of time. This particular job that they're offering right now is for an internet assessor who speaks Spanish, English and Spanish. So um, these kinds of jobs, I see them come up all the time. Just keep your eye on their available jobs, and um, I'm sure that you'll find something that will... Um, kind of fit with what you're looking for. Good luck everyone.